In this video, we will be looking into exploratory factor analysis working with principal axis factoring. Now, the function of EFA, as we all know, uh, the first function is for data reduction, where you have a large number of items and you are reducing them to a fewer number of factors. And the second function of EFA is force factor analysis. Now, let me explain a bit more detail on force factor analysis. Now, based on theory, you have this model where you have two independent variables, environmental collaboration and export orientation, influencing environmental strategy, and you have developed your hypothesis and you want to test your hypothesis. So if you're doing like this, yeah, based on your theory, you have your model and you want to test your hypothesis, then you will be working with principal axis factory. When you have a well-defined model based on your theory and the items that you have used yeah, to structure your questionnaire, you have adapted from past studies, then you will be using principal axis factory. One aspect that we have to pay detailed attention would be factor rotation. We have orthogonal rotation and oblique rotation. Now, for orthogonal rotation, it takes place when the factors are uncorrelated. Therefore, we will be either using Verimax, Quartimax or Equamax. Okay, in our case here, we have independent variables and dependent variable. Yeah? Therefore, we allow them to correlate. So we'll be using the oblique rotation where we can either choose the direct oblimin or promax. So let's move into SPSS in order for us to conduct exploratory factor analysis. In SPSS, you'll go to analyze, dimension reduction, factor analysis. And now we're going to pick these variables here. Yeah? You can see the first one here is ES1 and ES2 are the items for environmental strategy. EXP1 and EXP2 is for export behavior and I have EC1 and EC2 for environmental collaboration. Yeah, so I'm going to pick all these variables and transfer them here. For descriptive, I will take KMO and NT image. Continue. For extraction, the default setting is principal components, but we will pick principal axis factoring. Yeah. And at this section here, where we have extract, we will move to fixed number of factors, yeah? Because based on our model, based on the theory, we have three factors. But let's say if you're looking into dimension reduction, then you will again tick the upper one here, which is based on eigenvalue. Click continue. Next, we go to rotation. Now for rotation, we're gonna use oblique rotation. Therefore, we have two choices, either direct oblimin or promax. And we will go for promax. You click continue. And OK. From the SPSS output, I would be explaining the outputs that are very relevant yeah, for this principal axis factoring. So the first one that you will look into is the KMO and Bartlett's test. So we can see if we look into the KMO coefficient, the value is greater than 0.5. So we are good to go. And if we look into the Butler's test, it's significant. The value here is less than 0.05. So the items are significantly correlated in this case here. Next, we look into the anti-image correlation. We look into all the values at the diagonal. So you can see from ES1, right, right up to the last item here, which is EC2 all the values are greater than 0.5. Therefore, we don't have to delete any items. Next, we look into total variance explained. So as we instructed SPSS, we have three factors here and the total variance is 73.5%. Next, we check the communalities and if we look into all the value here, the value must be greater than 0.5 and by looking into all these values, we are good to go. It's greater than 0.5. Now, when we look into principal axis factoring, we will look into the patent matrix. Yeah, and what I've done here, I have suppressed all the smaller factor loadings. So you can see the first factor here, we have EXP1 and EXP2, which is the uh, export behavior. So the items are under this first factor. ES1 and ES2 is the environmental strategy. So it's under the second factor. And the item EC1 and EC2 is under uh, the third factor here, which is environmental collaboration. Yeah, and all the factor loadings here are good to go. And how do you decide 
the uh, factor loadings, it will be totally based on your sample size. So in this case here, we have roughly around 100 cases. Yeah. So the factor loading that should be ideal according to hair at all is 0.55. All the output that I've discussed with you, you have to strategically report them. So I'll be sharing with you some ways on how you can report the data. First, you need to summarize your data into this table. Um, I'm going to show you where did I get the information from. Now, the first section you can see, the center part here where these are the factor loadings and I got this information from the um, patent matrix. Yeah, so this is the information that I have transferred into the table. So you can see this information here is from the patent matrix. Next, you can incorporate the communalities and these communalities is again yeah, from this section here which we have obtained from SPSS. So that's where we got these communalities from. And the last part here, which explains the eigenvalue and the percentage of variance is extracted from this table here, where we have picked up the values from here. We have taken up the total and we have picked up the variance from here. This is the information that we have placed in this table below here. So this will be the table that is summarizing your output. Besides these values, there are also some other values that you need to explain. I will just share with you. Among them are the value of KMO, Butler's test, number of factors extracted. You have to report the eigenvalue or you can justify uh, wire theory where in our case here, we have run yeah, a force factor analysis based on our model which was structured based on theory. And if let's say it was data reduction technique, then you have to report your script plot, your parallel analysis, it has to be reported. Next, you have to also include the percentage of variance explained as we have already included in the table earlier and you also need to report your commonality. So these are some essentials that you have to include in your report.